Hi, I'm Danny Crivet, um, resident DJ at uh, 718 and uh, co-resident with uh, Francois K and Joe Cosell at uh, Body and Soul. Uh, my, my introduction to editing um, started as my frustration with a couple of mixing jobs I had previously. Um, I mixed the first record on Sleeping Bag Records, and it was a friend of mine uh, that I grew up with, uh, Will Sokolo, who owns the company, asked me to do him a favor and mix his first record. It was very low budget and a lot of time constraints, and uh, so I went ahead and did it, and in the, in the session, the uh, engineer uh, kept pointing to, oh, don't worry, we'll fix that later in editing. And uh, I just went with the flow and later came and I found out uh, he didn't know how to edit. Even though I didn't know how to edit, I knew what a bad edit was and he was wasting our time. Um, so it just squeaked out of there with something that just made it, but I was almost embarrassed. It wasn't what I wanted to achieve. And I went to a friend's house to uh, uh, hang out who was an editor for WDLS. Uh, he was really good, and uh, he, you know, said, oh, you know, really, you should jump in. I'll show you what to do, and show me how to really edit properly, and uh, I got another mix really soon after that that almost repeated the exact same scenario, and a uh, guy saying, well, we'll fix it later in editing, and later he came and he said, uh, and I just didn't jump in. Um, but so I walked away with the same kind of mix and a little frustrated. So I went home and uh, I had been working at Roxy at that time and hearing a lot of uh, DST playing. And uh, one of the things he was cutting up at the time was uh, Funky Drummer, James Brown. And uh, I just uh, I said, you know, I could never <laughs> cut it up the way he's doing it. But maybe I could do an edit. I certainly can't do any worse than this other guy in the studio did. So um, I banged out this funky drummer edit, and um, another friend of mine was putting out some medleys, these big Apple medleys, and he said, you know, if you make that a medley, I'll, I could, you know, put on wax. And so I made this uh, medley called Feeling James. And uh, for a while, I mean, I didn't give it to him for a while. I took it around to different clubs, and Freddie Bastone at uh, Dance Interior, or Tony Smith at the Funhouse, and, um, by the time it came out, I was already on my second one, which was Rock the House. And they were both medleys. Uh, uh, that's really how they came about. Well, the thing about uh, Love's a Message at yeah, MFSB is uh, it seemed like everybody, anybody who's a DJ had their own edit of it. Not many people want to share. It, so you had to make your own. And uh, so I made my own. and. Um, I gave it to a few people who really liked it, and um, this was, uh, I also gave it to the same guy who did the Big Apple medleys, and uh, he put it out, and it was really marked the end of my medley uh, uh, things that I gave him. After that I started doing more just songs. Um, but it also was strikingly one of the better sounding uh, records he put out, uh, usually they sound really raw and this sounded pretty close to the original. Uh, so when it came out on wax a lot of people actually played it, you know, gravitate to it because of its quality. My first mistake followed soon after that. Um, one of my favorite edits, you know, it, um, something that uh, DJ Larry Patterson used to uh, play a lot and it was very strong. Um, I remember David uh, Morales used to really tell me how much he loved it. He used to play it at Ozone in his, you know, his beginnings. Um, for the most part, I make the edits for the dance floor, for my dance floor, uh, for myself. I'm just uh, really inspired by a song and I just want to make it and I'm hoping that it's uh, something everyone else is going to love as much as I do. Um, that's really the main thing.
the first track, the title track, uh, music, music of the Earth, um, something I heard somebody play a long time ago, and I thought, wow, this is a Patrice Russian song that I missed out on, and uh, uh, it was really great, but I mean, I, I was instantly thinking like, this needs remix or an edit, it's just so short, everything I like just happens so quickly and it's over with, um, I want this extended. And uh, I tried to work with it a few times and I thought, it's not an easy song to work with. Um, I wanted to keep the integrity of it. Um, and finally I got a digital copy of it and it, uh, uh, I tried it again and I kind of came up with something I was happy with. Um, and another one more on another extreme would be uh, Milton Hamilton Crystallized. Um, We have all the time. Um, that's a song that I grew up with. Uh, it struck me the first time I heard it. It's something I never hear out. Uh, kind of a rare record. Uh, very unique record. And at the same time, I didn't alter it that much. I extend the intro and the outro and uh, uh, just wanted to present it as a little friendlier. Uh, easier to play version of what it already was, but uh, it's something uh, very difficult to find in its original form. Well, these are all new edits by me, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure uh, a couple of them have been re-edited by other people, um, but generally when I know something has been released before by someone else, I, I kind of think, well, is this something I really want still to come out? You know, like it's, it's uh, something more friendly to me. And with a couple of them, I felt like uh, even if they were out before, they weren't things I played, and these are things I would play. Structure um, For me, the editing process is um, kind of my feeling of uh, dancing to something on the floor. And first I start out with something I, I just really like the way it is. And there's probably a part of it that I like so much I just wish it went on or came back. And I think about it that way as the best kind of editing for me is um, an edit that you don't really notice that it's edited. If it sounds like this is the way it was written, that's really the best rare that happens, but that, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, I'm not after multi-edits, you know, just like showing off editing ability. I'm, I'm really just looking to extend what I already like about the song and keep the integrity. Just that I'm really happy uh, to be doing another compilation on Strut, now with K7. Um, Strut's always been a really special label to me, even not just for my stuff, but I'm always attracted to their catalog because they put a little extra in it. I uh, wish more labels did that. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to this compilation.